In this video, we're going to be covering some more aspects of the Empress Effect Zoya. We're going to look at how to copy pages so we can set up multiple copies of module setups. Then we're going to be making a user interface page using push buttons. So the signal is going through an aux send in my mixer, so we are going to hear the dry tone. We're going to be using the Roland Boutique JP08 in this example. If any of this seems confusing, then check the earlier basics video links in the description below. So first off, page zero is going to be our user interface. So we're going to start off with page one. I already set up the stereo in left and right and the stereo out left and right. So this page, everything's going to be routed into this. So what I'm going to do first is just set up a reverb. We're just going to choose reverb light and we'll stick with a mono, even though we're using a stereo signal. I'm just going to make it simple this time. So we're going to go in here. I'm just going to modify the settings slightly just so we get a nice lush reverb. Now we're going to go to audio modules and we're going to choose VCA. That's just a volume control. We're going to route out the reverb output to the in of the volume control. And then we're going to make the volume control go out to the output left and right. So this is just our volume of the effect we're going to be hearing. We're just going to turn that right up here. Now we're going to go to a new page. We're going to set up loopers here. So I'm going to start off by adding a looper. For the max record time, we're going to make that 16 seconds. We're going to change playback on this to loop. We're going to turn on play reverse. That's going to give us an option to reverse the signal. Now we're just going to add another volume control in here. So audio, and we're going to scroll up to VCA. So what I want to do is I want to be able to have a push button that's going to fade in each loop, fade in and fade out. So we're going to add a slew control. So we have to go to control modules and then find slew limiter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an interface module and push button. So we're just going to set this up. So the first push button I want is going to be momentary. In other words, when I press it, it's going to activate. When I let go, it turns off. So what this is going to be is going to be connected to the recorder on the looper. And we're going to create another push button. This one's going to be latching. So in other words, if I press it, it turns on. And if I press it again, it turns off. So there's a difference there. So again, this is going to be recording. This is going to be fading in the volume. And then it'll fade it out. And then let's make one more push button here. This one's going to be latching as well. And what we want that to do is turn on or off reverse. So let's just wire it up here. Again, that's going to be recording. So we're going to wire it to that. This one is going to turn on and off the volume. So I want this to go into the slew limiter. And then the slew limiter, the output of that is going to go right into the volume. Now it's set to a pretty long uh, fade here. It's five seconds. I'll bring it down just a little bit here. We can see it fade in and fade out. So we need to put the audio input into here. So we're going to go back a page. Now it looks like we have something selected because it's on yellow. So I'm just going to back out. Just remember, whenever you change a page, if those turn yellow, make sure to press back because we don't want to select something and then it be a connection we did not want. So first off, audio in left. Now we see it yellow. That means we're going to connect it right to the input of the looper. Now we're going to press back, go back. The right input is also going to go in the input of the looper. The output of the looper is going to go to the volume control in. That goes through the volume control out. We're going to wire into the reverb that I set up here. Now this third one will just set up to the reverse. So let's just test it out. So I'm going to hold this down and press some notes on my keyboard. We don't hear anything. We see the audio. We don't hear anything. So let's fade it in. Okay. Let's reverse it. And fade it back out. Okay. So that's what we want. So what I'm going to do, I want to copy this four times. So let's just do that. So in other words, we're going to go to our page screen. We're going to press back just to make sure it's not trying to connect something. So let's make sure we're in the page list and I'm going to hold shift and copy and then it's going to say copy and we want that to go to the next page. And then I'm going to press down. 
Now there is a warning here, so please make sure that you save your presets before you do something like this, especially if you're working on something complicated. There's a couple of things you need to be aware of. So it just sits here until you press shift and then save to confirm the copy. And you just wanna know that all the interpage connections will not be preserved. So we're gonna to have to reconnect all of those. The copy page function makes this so much easier than setting up every single page manually. So I'm just gonna hold down shift, press save. And now it says copied. All right, so let's go back two pages, one, two. I'm gonna go line in left, one, two. We're gonna assign that to the looper. We're gonna go back again, one, two. Press the audio in right, one, two. I'm gonna put that into the looper. And now all we have to do is the VCA out. We're gonna go back one, two. And that's gonna go into the reverb in. So let's just test this one out and see if it works. Works just fine. Okay, let's do the same thing. So we're gonna press back, go to our page screen, shift, copy. We're gonna go to the next page, shift, save. There's our next copy, same thing. So we're gonna go back, one, two, three. Audio in left, one, two, three. Into the looper in, back. One, two, three. Audio input right. One, two, three. Into the looper. And then again, we're going to go and choose the VCA out. One, two, three. Into the reverb light. Let's try that one out. Works just fine. Okay, now same thing. We're going to go to the page list. Shift, copy. We're gonna to go to the next page. Confirm, shift, save. This one's copied. So we're gonna repeat that last process one more time. One, two, three, four. Audio in left, one, two, three, four. Looper in, one, two, three, four. Audio in right, one, two, three, four. Into the looper. And then the output of the VCA, one, two, three, four and then that's gonna go into the reverb. So let's test that one out. Okay, that works just fine. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the first looper page. What I'm gonna do is copy all of these to the first page as like a control interface. And we're gonna do that for each of these. So I'm just gonna take this, select it, choose shift, move, and then we're gonna go back to the first page. We're gonna put it right there and just repeat this process for all of the push buttons that we have. Move, go back here. Now we're gonna go back here, choose that, move, and put that right there. So there's our first looper track with the playback and the reverse and the record. And we just do the same exact thing for all three. Now, we just wanna keep in mind here that whenever we have any of these controls or these push buttons, so if I press this and I go to the next page, that is gonna go yellow. So just remember every time, if we wanna edit any of the other settings on any other page, that we have to press back. Otherwise, it's gonna to connect to that to whatever we press next.